Hello my Vorkis fam! Welcome to my channel. My name is Mia and this is me Vorkis. I'm a self slot UIX designer and I'm here to make your life hella easier. We're on episode 4 of Figma tutorials, beginning with UIX and getting that shit done. On episode 4, we're gonna work on prototyping and this is gonna be two episodes. One is gonna be simple and for the beginners, the second one is gonna be the pro, the professional one, the ones that is a little bit harder and contains variables and the whole new updated system. So let's just do the simple way first and then on the next episode, which is a bonus, basically I added that so you guys can understand it better later on. Let's jump on to there. And if you haven't watched the rest of the series, click there, click there and just watch the rest of the series and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. If you want to prototype this app, this is called Datamint. You can find it in App Store and Google Play. I'm going to link it in the description. It's a multi-currency finance app that you could use to invoice your clients and a lot of more features. But yeah, you can see it in the description. This is something I designed. But for us to be able to like make a simple prototype in it, I want to do a really easy and simple adding wallets or adding wallets or just playing with the wallet flow prototype. For starters, you've got to be sure that your frames are ready for prototyping. So at first you want to click all of your headers and your menus. This is the nav and you want to make sure that the position and the scroll behavior is fixed in the vertical overflow. So you want to make sure that that's set right there. What does that setting do is that it organizes your uh, layers in a way that when you scroll up and down your menus your headers they're gonna stick to the page that's what we have right now and then after that you can start your actual prototyping for this particular page we're gonna give it the starting point which would be the home page and it would be called the wallet flow and then we have this set of cards here and we have the add more cards for you to be able to do this kind of horizontal scrolling you have to make sure that your cards are not selected in the frame like this you want to make sure that the frame is clicked here and you choose your framing right and then you want to make sure that the position is scroll with parents and the overflow is horizontal so you can easily horizontally scroll your app like this and then this would be the second phase of getting it ready so now as you can see we have the add more button at the end here you can easily prototype it and add it to your add wallet section you want to make sure that your back buttons are all set to your home page this is just a simple prototyping it's you want to make sure that it's on click you want to make sure it has a simple kind of movement like this you can play with this section a lot in order to see what you want to achieve and you have the preview here as well then you can also enter the wallet section using this button in navigation so this is what we have right now and we're gonna just see how we laid it out this would be our main prototype so we have the cards we have the add more we have the back buttons we have the wallets oh it's not buggy it is on drag you see this is why i tell you guys to make sure you have it on click so you can easily just delete that and make sure you do it right and then you want to make sure that it's done right so it's going to be navigate to the wallet so now it's fixed we have our back buttons working and now for example for us to figure out how the back button would look nicer you could easily for example when you click on back what do you want to happen do you want the home page to come back like this do you want the home page to slide back like this you have all these different types of animations you can do dissolve which would be something like this so you could actually play with this a lot you could also do small smart animation which is like the most pro way of doing stuff but the problem is like you have to play uh, really well with it for in order to this fitting right so you have all these settings here and you can just lay out your all your different interactions here so for starters you can obviously scroll
scroll here and click on add more wallets and now we want to be able to do this you see so in order to be able to like select and deselect stuff let's just start from here and take our check boxes out and go back to design this is a simple interaction and it doesn't need any type of prototyping basically so you want to make sure you have your checkbox then you want to create components with it you want to add a variant the first one is going to be status on and the second one name is going to be status off this is how you lay down your your names and then in order to create our status off well we're going to be doing let's have it in the color of the same thing so we don't have to like have it basically and then you can actually prototype this in order to uh, when people click the status is going to change to off it's a smart animation and it's a is in animation now we did that you can take this out you can delete the one from before and you can easily paste these in all of your cards which are auto layouted and you can just lay down everything super pretty there so now for us to see how it works okay we want to add a new wallet all of the different wallets are already selected let's just deselect them and now for example oh you see now that we need to add the going back interaction which would be basically the same thing so now if i click on on it's gonna turn on if i turn on and go back we're gonna have united states and nigeria here later on we can add different variants and we can actually do something that when you click on something and you add something card would be added here but for now this is the simplest auto layout here you can just easily play with it everything is just by clicking and creating new prototypes just you can go to the prototype section here and just select everything you can create a whole menu here but in order to be like more professional you can learn variants in the next video and be able to create these more professionally so i hope you enjoyed this and that's it all for today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned a lot of valuable things i'm gonna see you in the next video but before that make sure you give a thumbs up to this video leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe 90 percent of you guys are not subscribed it breaks my heart make sure you subscribe maybe we hit that 1k sooner so i'm gonna see you in the next video bye